I have a record button too. Awesome. So our book today, actually, let's get the a schedule out because I made a schedule today and we're going to start using this schedule. So our first thing is greetings. So I'm going to show something to you guys. I thought this was the schedule. Do any of you guys like... Uh, let me see. It, do, can you guys see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm going to play a song for you guys, okay? We can't hear it. You can't hear it? No, we can't hear it. Hmm. We can hear you, but we can't hear the video. Yeah. Well, let's go back and try this a different way. <clears throat> Stop sharing. Hi, Lyra. So let's see if I can share it this way. Hello. Hello. All right. Let me see if you, can you guys hear it now. No. No. Hmm. Well, you want to just. Uh, I don't know why. Let me see if I can pull it up on we my phone. We can see you. Let me see if I can pull it up on my phone. That way you guys can hear it at least and still watch the video at the same time, okay? Because this is a what? cool little... Sorry, Mom. I'm not answering that question until you show me your good behavior. That was just a... Lyra. But right now what I'm doing is we're, I'm trying to find the hello song so we can, I can show you the hello song. Would you like a piece of mango? Sure. And then we're going to read the book. That's only if you take me there. Okay, hold on. Okay, I have to go clean up the mess. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try to share this again. It's not going to work. Let's give it a shot. Ready? Hello, now it's working. Can you hear it? Yes. Yeah. That guy's crazy. A little slow. The video's a little slow. Yeah, it's not matched up perfectly. Uh, there's a settings where you can speed it up. Oh, you know what you did? You got water all over the ice cream cones. What? No, we didn't. Wreck the ice cream cones. Unless you can fix them. Are we still going to Kodo for lunch today, Mom? I don't know. Please, if I'd be good during this meeting. You're good all morning. And we'll go to Coco. For lunch. For lunch. Hello, everybody. I messed it up. I messed it up. Look. Lyra, I told you not to touch the screen. I asked you not to touch the screen. Okay. No, we don't want that. I don't know if I know how to undo it. One minute left. Oh, I don't want to see it. Hello. Just... Maybe you just do this. Yeah. Hey there. Hey there, everyone. Sorry, we're going to have to hang up. Goodbye. Sorry. No, we'll be fine. I'll figure it's it out. We'll figure it out. Hello. 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 But we can't, right. we split our screen by accident and we can't figure out how to unsplit it. Can we just hang up and then I'll call again? No.
No, because it will do the same thing. Okay, no, sorry, we're gonna no, mute ourselves. Okay, so we did our greeting, so I can go ahead and put this over on the done side. So our next thing is to read a book. So we're gonna read our book. And today it's my, oh my, a butterfly. <clears throat> and you ready? I'm the cat in the hat. If you awesome. So everyone, please mute yourself, okay? Thank you. I'm the cat in the hat. If you look in the sky, you might see a butterfly fluttering by. They are colorful insects whose lives lives you will see are very exciting. Come on, follow me. Right here in your yard, if you look, you might spot a butterfly egg. It's a little round dot. It sticks to a leaf, rain won't wash it away. Right here on this leaf is where it wants to stay. You may think in these eggs there are small butterflies, but wait till they hatch and you'll get a surprise. They don't hatch a butterfly. Hmm, let's see what they're gonna hatch as. Caterpillars. That's right, Don. Very, very, very small one. Yes, caterpillars hatch out of a butterfly's egg. They look like small worms and may have 16 legs. They start chewing and growing and growing and chewing. And that's about all they spend their time doing. They eat first their eggshells. Then it's leaves that they need. They'll eat all the time and they grow with great speed. If we grew as fast as they do, this was funny to us. In two weeks, we would be as big as a bus. Whoa, so if we ate as much as a caterpillar, we would turn as big as a bus in two weeks. <laughs> this caterpillar has grown too big for its skin. It needs bigger skin than the skin it's been in. So take a deep breath, then it wobbles and wiggles. Its skin starts to split as it joggles and jiggles. The old skin falls off and right there underneath is new bigger skin that's been hiding beneath. It eats the old skin. Oh, yum, how delicious. Protein in the skin makes it very nutritious. So it eats its skin to grow bigger. In order to grow bigger, it has to molt and eat its skin. It's gonna turn into a chrysalis. You are right, Dom. After the fourth time it sheds all of its skin, the next stage of a butterfly's life will begin. It hangs upside down like a small letter J, and for a few hours, it hangs there that way. Then it changes again. The next stage is, is this. A shell forms around, and it's called a chrysalis. Good job, Dom. So at first, it just goes up there and hangs with the caterpillar for a few hours with a small J. And then it turns into a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar keeps changing. All of its body parts are rearranging. For almost 10 days, it can't move and can't eat. Then one day, the butterfly's change is complete. A tiny black leg begins to poke through. Within seconds, another leg pops into view. Oh, it looks like it's starting to hatch. And they get see through and you can see the pattern. That's when it's gonna hatch. That's right. She bursts into the air, a bright new butterfly. Her wings are so soft that at first she can't fly. She must wait till they harden, till then she must stay. If an enemy comes, she cannot fly away. Her antennas start working to sense what's around her, the motions, the smells, the sights that surround her. In hours, her new wings get harder and so, she is ready to fly, she is ready to go. So it takes a couple hours for them to dry their wings out and to get them hard so they can fly. Because when they're born, they're soft. 
have the exact kind of butterfly in the in the picture, but kind of like a sticker version, and I have it on. Awesome. That's monarch butterfly. They're my one of my favorites. See these two caterpillars? They're different. Here's why. One will soon be a moth and one's going to be a bright butterfly. One makes a chrysalis and now we know inside it, a butterfly is starting to grow. One spins a cocoon like a blanket to hide it and then a new moth begins growing inside it. So a moth grows a cocoon and a butterfly grows a chrysalis. Spiders, frogs, beetles, birds, lizards, and mice think bright butterflies for a snack are quite nice. Every butterfly knows birds are trying to catch it. Its wobbly flight makes it harder to snatch it. This butterfly's colors warn foes it might meet. I am poison. I'll hurt you. I'm not good to eat. So it looks like, you know, this bright butterfly right here. It's a sign when I have those bright colors that the birds don't want to eat that one, right? And, right. and kind of uh, monarch butterfly so is poisonous too. Right. Awesome. Good job, Dom. Butterflies are so light. This will show you how many you will need just to equal the weight of a penny. They see thousands of pictures. If one looked at me, here is a drawing of what it would see. With this tube, the proboscis, a butterfly draws nectar from flowers like we drink from straws. So you see right here, this thing that comes out, have you ever seen a butterfly up close and it has this thing that comes out of his mouth? That's what feeds him. That's how he's, he uses like a straw to suck the nectar out of the flowers. Ooh, let's try to get Judy back in here. Lyra. She's gone. We have a new hobby we just started trying. It's fun and it's free and it's called butterflying. We look to find butterflies. They're everywhere in our yard, near a stream, on the ground, in the air. We write down the day and the time that we saw them. We write down the place then take crayons and draw them. So we're gonna use either, you can use markers or paint today, do our craft. When you find butterflies, there are ways you can see by the size, shape and color, what kind they might be. Butterflies get their names from all different things. Swallowtail butterflies have long tails on their wings. Here is a lace wing, it looks like lace, this owl butterfly looks like a baby's owl's face. Which one is the smallest? It's the pygmy blue. A bird wing is largest. It's so beautiful too. So here's some different kinds of butterflies. This one looks like a baby's owl's face. And you see the really small one up there? The blue pygmy. These are the monarchs, just watch them in flight. They have orange and black wings with small dots of white. They can't live in cold weather, so somehow they know that they must fly where it's warmer, like Mexico. They fly hundreds of miles, they fly, fly hours and hours. They stop just to rest and sip nectar from the flowers. Does anybody know that the monarch butterflies, they migrate to Mexico when it starts to get cold here? So they fly all the way here from here to Mexico. And they only stop to get some rest and some food. Monarchs hide in a storm when the thunder is crashing. They know they're in danger when lightning is flashing. See, they hide. Because I don't think a butterfly could fly too well if his wings got wet, right? Monarchs fly for weeks till they finally see in the Mexican forest an old male tree. They fly to the tree and then just before dark, 
they land and they hook their small legs in the bark. Without the sun's warmth, they are too cold for flight. So they huddle together and wait out the night. So this, these trees, when they all fly to Mexico, they have probably thousands of butterflies on them. And they huddle together at nighttime until it's warm again the next day to fly. In the spring, when, yeah. In the spring, when it's warm, monarchs lift off from the trees. They flutter and swoop, and they dance in the breeze. Now that it's warmer, these butterflies know they must mate and lay eggs so new babies can grow. Males look for females to mate with. It's true. They have colors and markings that they that look like theirs do. You know, uh, some the the female the female uh the female peacock are kind mm -hmm. of darker than the male peacocks, and I think that's true for all animals. I think you are right. So usually in the animal kingdom the bright pretty ones and birds and butterflies are the are, males because they attract females right because they have to attract the females to have a mate right you're so smart dom once a female has made it it's hard to go on she would not lift much longer her time's almost gone she is carrying eggs they are heavy that's why she cannot get back home it is too far to fly so she searches for leaves and lay, lays eggs one by one. She lays hundreds of eggs and won't stop until she's done. So she's laying all of her eggs. So if you ever see a little a leaf that has something that looks like this. My book coming. Oh, and I like that book. Awesome. We're almost done. You guys are doing great. Butterflies are surprising and beautiful, beautiful things as they soar through the air on their bright colored wings. They're like jewels in the sun. They live just a short while, but whenever you see one, you can't help but smile. For you know on the leaf, if you look, you may find an egg that a butterfly just left behind. And in this egg, small as the head of a pin, a new butterfly life is about to begin. So we wouldn't want to disturb them because if we disturb them, then the new butterfly life wouldn't want to be able to begin. And that is the end of our book. So that was my, oh my, a butterfly. So now it's time to do our craft. So let's get our schedule. We read our book, our story, so we can put that in the done side. So what's the next thing? Can anyone see? Arts and crafts. <clears throat> So now we need to get our materials. So everyone have paint? I have some paint here. And paper, everyone needs a, some white paper. And a sponge. And rubber band, which is around here somewhere. How many cool sponge you have? Here are oh. your sponges. So I and have a, just a regular kitchen sponge, one of the cheap ones. We can use a whole big one. Yes, but I have these. And then rubber bands. And I'm gonna use a black marker from my antenna, but you can, you can use paint if you like. <clears throat> so everyone, the first step is to get your sponge. Seth, do you have a sponge? Does it have to be hard or? Nope, we're gonna, we're gonna do it together, Dom, okay? So we have our sponge and then we have a rubber band. Awesome. So I'm gonna take my rubber band and I'm gonna put it in the middle of my sponge. So I only have it wrapped one time right now, but I wanna keep it in the middle. And what I'm gonna do Dom and Seth and Lyra is I'm gonna twist it again and I wanna keep twisting it and turning it until it gets tighter and it squeezes my sponge. So I have, it looks like this now. And it doesn't, you don't, 
it, you don't want to squeeze it too much because you want to be able to keep it flat. So it I didn't look like a bow tie. It does look like a bow tie because you want to know what? After we paint the wings, we have to add the body ourselves. So if you look at my example, I added the body and the antennas after I did the wings. So now if everyone has their sponge, you want to take some paint and you can either use a paintbrush, you can use your finger. I actually like to use Q-tips and I'm going to choose some colors. So I'm going to lower my Where camera. Did you just use your Q-tips or your ears? Not for that. Well, Lyra, that's the cool thing about some certain stuff is that you can use them for a lot of different things too. So I know Q-tips are made for your ears, but they're really but my great. Mom, but my mom says no. Well, do you have do you have a paintbrush? That's right. And Carmen yeah. says yes. Yeah, but I the reason why, Lyra, is I have no paintbrushes available at, with me right now. So what? I don't have a paintbrush. So in my paint box, I had some Q-tips. No, like I like sticking those in my ears. Oh no, no, no. You you heard the saying from the doctor, you don't want to stick anything smaller than your elbow in your ear. So if it's, if, and your elbow can't fit in your ear, right? So you should never stick anything in your ear. Just we'll be outside. Here's some so, paints. We're going to get you some more paints. Everyone has their and paint. And I'm going to lower my paper. camera. We'll do one piece at a time. Can you give me a pee accident? So and I'm going to do some paint on your butterflies. If everyone can see, and this is where it's really cool when you have a paintbrush, you can draw a design on your sponge. So you can either, and you want to add quite a bit of paint when you're doing it. You don't want to put too much, but you want to make sure that you're going to be able to push it down on the paper. So I'm just going to do different designs. Yeah. What you doing? I'm painting my butterfly. Watch, you can do one too. Yeah, mine is like not like really good because the sponge is dried out. No, it's good. The sponge is good to be dried out because we're gonna paint the sponge and we're gonna make it wet with our paint. Um, this just looks like a galaxy rock, hun. <laughs> <laughs> so you see how I'm just painting different designs. See, it looks sponge. like a galaxy sponge. See? Oh yeah, that's cool. So I'm just kind of a you know. Sponge made out of galaxy, mom. What? Oh, Carmen. <laughs> the object of this is we want to Carmen, paint. Our, yes. A question to ask you. Okay. A paint, um, our sponge is made out of galaxy. I don't think so. I, I wouldn't think so. Made out of a special kind of plastic. Yes, exactly. Cellulose. You're deaf and she's not. <laughs> So I'm the object of this, guys, is we want to paint all of one side of our sponge. And this is going to be the Can you give me another paintbrush, honey? Yes, I'll get you another paintbrush. For the orange one? Yep. Oh, no. And it better be a big one or I'm going to caca like this. Get so, one. No, just like on this. No, I want it small like this. Once, uh, like that. Okay. And see how I'm just putting it on my sponge. My mom's trying to get me to do extra bigger sponge. Awesome. I can't wait to see everyone's. And you guys can make any design. So you can put dots on it. I farted. Say, excuse me, please. Excuse me, sweetheart. Good job. Well, what if I, mommy, what if I don't want to use them as butterflies? What if I just want to use them as like galaxy sitting pads for my like actual no. So you want to put the paint on the front of the. No, um, I'm going to yeah. do that too. I just want to do the sides too for fun. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Can, I, do that. okay. can I paint this one and this will be mine? Uh, can I use both of them? You can have both of them, sure. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to make them pretty dark. No, that's fine. <sighs> That's so I'm gonna add some more. They I'm gonna do some really paint. Really awesome. They are. Look. Ooh, there goes some nice yellow paint. 
Can you get some more yellow paint? That's not enough. No, it's plenty. Believe me, for these guys, that's plenty of paint. And then what else color do I want? I'm going to add maybe some. Can I make this as like a stool? Purple. How's it coming, Dom and Seth? Good. I, I'm good. Awesome. And so I'm putting paint on all of my sponge in every spot. And I kind of just, you know, put it on there. And make sure you get right by the rubber band. That's a spot. Sometimes it's hard to get in there. So you put in a few extra in the, by the rubber band. And now I'm just going to add a little bit more of the orange color to brighten it up. And what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to put a dot here. And wait for until she's done explaining, please. Carmen, Carmen. Yes. Question asked you. Okay. What if I turn this into a stool? A stool. Or like one of my characters, like Buzz Lightyear. Hey, you totally could. I mean, that's using your imagination, right? That's fine. So now I have my white paper and my sponge is all painted. So what I'm gonna do is turn my sponge around and I wanna put the paint side down. So we're gonna use it. Oh, look at that, Dom, that looks awesome. So I'm gonna put it down on my paper and I'm gonna make sure I push it in every spot. So I wanna push it around the edges. What's happening, sweetheart? Sorry. Look at my butterfly. Sorry, Pootie. You see it? So this, is, this butterfly right now, he doesn't have a body. And what's really cool about this is you can make multiple can ones without paint adding more paint. Nope. So I'm going to make another one right here. Plenty of paint. So I didn't add any more paint. And what I'm doing is getting extra. Totally on the corner, mommy. So we want to push it hard really well. all the way to the corners. To the middle. Bobby, can you give me two? Like, uh, how about I earn it for like three um branch bucks deal, mommy? How's it coming, okay. Lyra? Can I earn? Oh, look at that, Dom. That's awesome. What a flow branch. Yes. Where, where, I don't have the branch bucks ready yet, so. So it kind of does look from like a bow tie, bucks. right? For poppy bucks. For creek bucks. So can you make me a creek buck. So what we can do for this one, guys, this is your first one. You can put this to the side and let it dry for a minute before we add the body, okay? And if you have, what's really cool about these is, Carmen, yeah, just, I'm just making a stool. Is that okay? Okay, that's fine. What is, all you have to do is add, oh, look at that. You can even cut designs. That's great. Can I do that too? Can I paint it too? Sure. I'll put it right there so you can paint it. Awesome. Can you make like a of those? All you have to do is add a little bit more paint. Like a square dome. And you can make a whole different design on the sponge that's already painted. Here, this one's a flower. I'm just going to add. You, those are all for me. Dots. And that way, when I push it again, I'll have some different color. I'll have a different design on my um, butterfly. And we don't have to even wash them. My mom's washing them. Yeah, it's fine. It's it's okay, totally okay to wash them. But when you have already painted one, you can just keep adding paint and what it makes it a really cool mixture of butterfly. I'll show you. And that we're kind of just doing this to waste time for other ones to dry because you can't really draw the body on it when the paint is so wet. Excuse me, Carmen. Yes. We're not wasting time on this stuff. Oh, not wait. That that's very true, Lyra. Thank you for that. <laughs> if you waste time on my stuff, I don't think I'll call you next time, hon. 
<laughs> Lyra, I love that. How I won't call you next time if you if you Oh no, I don't love that. I love that you pointed it out. We're not wasting time. This is not waste, this is fun. Right. So I'm just putting dots on mine this time. Oh, Judy. When yes, are we what? gonna go to Storyland Fun Fair? Yeah. I'm actually when? gonna add some gold. When mommy? In June. And when are we gonna go? Are there any other fun fairs that are open? The um Enfield Fair is gonna happen. And is that gonna have a ride on it? And it's gonna have rides and we can go. What about candy? What about cotton candy? Maybe so I'm going to use a black piece of paper. I have some a black paper me. and I'm going to do I'm one on black. So I'm going to put it down so you can see it. Yeah, okay, yeah. John? And are we going to go on the zipper? Ready? You can go on the zipper, not me. And I'm well, you push. have to go with me because remember it has to be with two people. Well, we'll get a friend to go with you. How's it coming, Lyra? I don't think you're going to make a moth. Yeah, I'm going to put it Are you making a moth? Ooh, are like you gonna make a butterfly? Can I see? Yeah, Did you do it already? One. Stop it! I'm not gonna do that. I'm trying to survey it. What we're gonna do, oh, Dom, is we're gonna add that body in here in a minute, okay? Well, and right now, I'm just getting all my paint off my no, push sponge, it down. pushing yep. it down. Nice. That came out really well, Lyra. Can you hold this for one minute? Sure, I can. Look, Carmen. <gasps> Lyra, that's awesome. I love it. So now, mommy, that's enough. I have I'm this make one. Sure I got the other side now. So if you can either use oh paint. no, you're supposed to do it on the other side, Lyra. Oh, no, I'm doing both. Side. Or you can use okay. a marker. Okay. I'm gonna try up to it. you on what you want to use. Okay. Sure. So Lyra, I'm gonna teach everyone how to draw the body now. Okay. Okay. okay pay attention. It's body drawing time. So, if you look, look at, at my example, so this is my example. All I did was draw a line in the middle of the. I don't line. know how to draw my body. Can look, you teach me how to? look, look what so Carmen's showing you. I drew a, a line and then I made it a little bit bigger down here and a little we'll smaller up here. And then look, we'll look. add the antennas no. after. It's okay. I got it. I got it. I'm going to no big deal. No big deal. Here, you want to wipe it up with the sponge? Did I get all my shirt? No, it's not on your shirt. No, I was using it for something else. Okay, here, use this to wipe it up. Suck it up, mommy. No, that's not a nice thing to say. Can you fix it, mom? Here, let me see. So I'm going to lower my. All mom. done. All fixed. And I'm going to use. I'm using paint for mine, but you're more than welcome to use a marker if you're if it's dry. So. I'm just going to start and I'm going to start from the top and I'm going to go down. And I'm can I make the heart? Can I make one heart and then I'll wash it off and you can make the second one? And what? I kind of made it a little bit bigger on the bottom. Now we'll get this funny joke. You ready? Yep. See how it works? Yep. See? And now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm going to draw. Oh, I'm going to start at the table, top. Right? It's okay. You can get paint on the table. It washes off. And then I'm going to draw a line and go all the way down. And when I get to the bottom between my wings, I'm going to go what was that? outward a little bit. Yeah, well. Just to make it a little bit bigger on the bottom. Can you go get that paintbrush. What are you doing? You're mixing up the green one. See? I'm not mixing up the green wait, one. Wait, that was... um. A toothpick. Oh, here. And then here is what comes. Oh, I wanted a heart. I'm going to wash it off so you can do it. Or you can do it. the other side. No, I wasn't fair. Oh. Seth, that's awesome. I'm going to get my own piece of paper. So now okay, I, was trying to I have my, I have my bodies. Can I see that one? I want to, can I add to it? Mommy? And I'm well, going to draw my I antennas my, so you can even one, make them big. Another one. Or you can make them small. I soaked it. Oh, there it is. I'm sitting on it. That was not very smart of me to be sitting on the paper and then say, where's the paper? Hmm. My pooty made a mistake. Look, look how well it came out, Lyra. Isn't that pretty? And then you, your antennas can be any kind of way, you know? 
You can make them big. You can make them extra curly. You can make one small, one bigger. Okay, I'm going to go wash it off so you can do it. I love it, Seth. That's awesome. This is a super fun craft, Carmen. It is. And, yeah, and just like Lyra did, she had different, she has a heart sponge. She cut out um, shapes or different designs in your sponge. Yes. And then you can make hearts. And these are really cool to make if you want to make your card. Yes. That's so awesome. If you want to make your, a card for somebody, because what you can do is you're mixing it in half. Great. Yeah. So it can be a card. And then nice. you can, you can write in the middle. And then, Please. you know, you've given this cool butterfly on the outside. Right. And the cool thing is, is you can use different color paper. So when you use different color paper, you'd have to make a different color body. You wouldn't be able to use black. So I'm going to go ahead and use some gold. Oh. Red. I'm going to wash off your butterfly. Uh. Is that okay? Look, Carmen, remember this? Look. Ooh, that's awesome. You're doing great. Oh, oh. Lyra, Lyra, it's no big deal. I made mine today and uh, no big deal. Can no, I wash that it looks awesome. Lyra? Lyra, look. Can Lyra, I wash it off so that. you can do it again? No, I want to keep it like that. Okay, that's fine. I keep love it. Purple. Look, that looks like purple brown. If you mix all the colors together, you get a kind of purple brown. Yep, it's very it's true. Different. And in fact, if you mixed all the colors in the universe together, you get black. Yep. Really? Yep. So now I made this one. See how it's on right. black paper. Right. So right. bit of this. Cool. Look at Carmen's butterflies. Yes, cool. I put this one on black paper, and then you can make. Let me see if I have any black paper, Lara. Look. Is that okay for you to do yeah, No, bit? no, no, no. That's not for this. Nope. No, no, I want to try one. No, challenge. no. That's a, a different thing. No, I want to try one challenge. Well, no. Why? That would not be, that would be Seth, making them out without any good outcome. I really <laughs> like yours. It looks so awesome. Oh, yay. Love it. Dom, <laughs> how's yours coming along? I finished mine. I love it. Oh, that is so special. That's a great job. And what's really cool about this is if you wash your sponge out, that can now be your crafting sponge, right? So you could let it dry and keep it to do another craft of painting. And if you ever have a sponge, I have this sponge, you could cut it in half and it makes a baby butterfly, right? So you make your sponge smaller and you'd wanna put in your rubber band and it will make a smaller butterfly. <clears throat> so you can make a whole family of them. Seth, that is amazing. You are quite the artist. Lyra, how's it yours coming along? So I just want to let you guys all know that this is our last uh, spire for two or three weeks, I believe, three weeks. Oh, we're gonna be, yes, we're going to be taking a short break so we can prepare for our next series of a spire, which at the end of June, it's going to be in person. So it's going to be so fun to see everybody. And we'll all be in contact about all of that information when the time is right. Lyra, how's yours coming along? Does anybody notice that I'm in outer space? I do notice that you're space. in outer space. Oh, Wow, look at that. We did a science experiment this light. morning. I'm making a night flight. We learned about um, solids and liquids and gases, and we took some 
solid baking soda and some liquid vinegar and we put them together and they went bubble, 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 bubble and made a gas. Yeah. Very fun. Have you ever tried making oobleck? Yeah. Can we do that? Oobleck is fun too. Lyra's yes. made it, so it tends to end up all over the kitchen. So we make it a rare treat. Yes, an outside <laughs> treat for sure. We're gonna call it candy at the fun fair one day soon. Sure. When it opens, though, what did you say? The okay. sandwich fair. Lyra, have you? Can you look at Seth, Lyra? Do you see what he's? He's in outer space. Yes, he's got outer space head. <laughs> That's Hi, pretty cool, Mr. huh? Seth. Hi, Mister Outer Seth. <laughs> He was earlier. I'm he was literally out of this world. I was oh! just going to say it. You <laughs> took the words right from my mouth. I was going to say he's literally out of the world. Door, door. <laughs> By the time you're an I can make myself in the world again. Okay. What and let's, let's see your beautiful butterfly. What about Ooh, you know star? how to do it. Get it? What, Dom? What about your star? That's right. <laughs> So now our, we got our schedule back out. We've completed our art and craft. So we can move that to our done side. What's the bottom one? And the bottom one says all done and we can say goodbye. So I'm gonna try to show you another video, but I'm gonna have to pull it up on my phone again so I can let you guys hear it. But once oh, I, I I'm gonna have to learn how to do this better so that you guys can- Can I just do a little bit? Look. Yeah, you here. can do that. Is that okay? There's a trick that has to do I'm with- I'm gonna dump it on. Is that okay for- you, If you press the- um, Look, mommy, is that okay for just do a little bit yes. of that? Yes. If you press it? the little arrow next to the microphone icon, it'll okay. show you some different sound options. And um, I think there's one of those sound options that allows you to stream video better. Why did you say no to this? Okay. Yeah. Why would you say no to this? Well, I didn't want to do it during the class because oh yeah, switch the phone audio. Because we're just about done. Like switch it to. Hang on one sec. Hang on one sec, Larry. Do I want computer audio or computer want... audio? Uh, what's what are the options? Reportion of screen, PowerPoint, or content of the second camera. Look Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I was all good I until you got to the next step. phone audio. Look at the pretty design I made. Okay. Uh, it just looks like a bunch of wet water. <laughs> all right, well, we'll can try we it like this. Can we not do that, please? Okay, let's can we not do that, share please? my screen. Do you yes. want to go to Kodo or not? Please don't just make a mess. We're not just making well, How about I'll just do it like this. So you guys can see it on my phone. Okay, ready? Yeah. I'm going to play this song. I'm going to start cleaning up. Why? No, I want to keep painting. You want to keep painting? Okay. Would you like a fresh piece of paper to paint on? Okay, I'm going to put that on YouTube, Jack.
<laughs> you guys, have you ever seen that show before? Has anyone ever seen Yo Gabba Gabba? Nope. Well, I'm going to tell you a secret about me. I love to have little songs help me, remind me of everyday things. You know, of how to remember how to do something in order. And Yo Gabba Gabba has been one of those cartoons that has the coolest songs that can get stuck in your brain and help you remind things. And I can't wait to show you all of them because they're Carmen. a lot of fun. Carmen, that was fun. Um, and um, is that really a real thing? Yes, a real it's a real cartoon. It's a real show. It, they, they don't make new episodes anymore. And do they, they really sing that songs? Yes. So I can't wait to show you a lot of them because I have a lot of cool ones up my sleeve. Right. Can you try to play that song, Mommy? <laughs> yes. Now I want to play that song. I will, that? I will find it and we'll play it after we're done with What is that? Do you have a question, Dom? What is that goodbye and fun show you saw? Let Dom talk to That's it Dom here. You can ask Mommy. It's Dom's turn. Let's be quiet so he can ask. Yes, Dom? I said this is the year. Yes. So I think he suffered so so now it's just Earth. Earth. He's on Earth now. That's right. Seth is just Earth. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm gonna stop the recording now. I had so much fun. Bye.